Canucks fans, and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary. I just returned home from Rogers Arena, the Canucks home opener, and they ended up losing to the Calgary Flames in overtime, 3-2. to two. And I know that in my last CCC, I mentioned that I much prefer to do these videos after a Canucks win than a loss. But hey, the Canucks weren't really going to go 82-0, were they? I was very excited to go to this game and to bring my lovely wife, Gail. We hit one of our favorite sushi places on the way to the arena, and I even scored free parking downtown. We got to the arena with plenty of time to spare, and the metal detectors actually didn't set us back at all. In fact, with my hands in the air, it was a great opportunity for me to practice some dance moves. The Canucks kept the pregame festivities to a minimum, starting off with simple introductions and a very classy tribute to Richard Loney, the longtime anthem singer for the Canucks. Mark Donnelly and the Vancouver Opera sang along to a video and audio recording of Richard Loney singing O Canada. <laughs> It was simple and it was very touching. Good job, Canucks. As for the game itself, it was quite the role reversal from Wednesday night's game in Calgary. Calgary was the more aggressive team. Calgary was the better skating team. And the possession numbers don't lie. Calgary had the puck for the majority of the game. There were many stretches, in the third period in particular, that the Canucks seemed to have a lot of trouble getting out of their zone. Perhaps this game and result showed the importance of having Alex Edler in the lineup as he fell ill during the day. And the result was often scrambly play and poor positioning especially on the Calgary Flames' second goal. There were some positives on the night. Bo Horvat scored a power play goal from in close, and rookie Jared McCann sniped a beautiful goal from the slot. It was a good sign for the Canucks youth movement, as four of their six points came from guys with two years experience or less. That is Horvat and Berchi, and rookies Ben Hutton and Jared McCann. Let's go to Canucks in a word, where I asked you to tweet me your thoughts on the Canucks or the Canucks game using only one word. Hence the name Canucks in a word. And a quick warning, the ones that you hear tonight, they won't be as positive as those from Wednesday night. Turnovers. Ugh. Puberty. And I'm hoping and praying that he was talking about the team growing up and suffering through some growing pains, not talking about me. Future. Miller time. Surprise, surprise, that one was from Jovan. Stutter, not Sutter. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Sunk. Corrado. <laughs> Very funny, Jay. McCann Horvat. Does that count as a word? Impotent. Roxy, I hope you're talking about the team and... <laughs> Never mind. Inconsistent. Believe. As you can see, some positive, some negative, some hopeful, and all about the team, not about this guy. We have a few things to look forward to in the next few days, including the Canucks making their first stop in Southern California, and the release of my new Canucks song. Look for it on Thanksgiving Monday. In the meantime, follow me on Twitter at Canuck Clay or subscribe to this YouTube channel. God bless and go Canucks go.